Who in the world came up with the idea to describe the size of an in vitro baby as a fruit or vegetable? It made no sense to me. They could have chose anything. But instead, congratulations, your baby is the size of an avocado. The journey to meeting my first son was chock full of fruits and vegetables. Before the birth, during, and everything that happened after was quite an adventure for my girl Odette, myself, and everyone involved. It was definitely life-changing for the better. During the pregnancy, many aspects of our everyday life had to be changed. We had to improve and build up our communication skills and work as a single unit so that all of the choices we made pushed us forward in life as a couple and as well as parents. We had to compromise on decisions that impacted our lives as well as our soon-to-come child. Some of the things were frivolous, like what color the baby's room would be or how we were going to dress him once he came. Some of them were more important, like who would be the one to take care of him while we were at school or work. Another thing would be that we had to be very conscious of what my girl could and could not eat while she was pregnant. As far as food, luckily, she was already pretty much prepared for that. Uncooked or raw foods was a big no-no, but she already didn't eat many of those foods anyways, so it wasn't such a big deal. During the birth, I was at home and I was woken up out of my sleep and Odette was telling me that her stomach was hurting really bad. Um, in the third trimester of her pregnancy, it happened a few times, so I really didn't think much of it. But she, she told me that it was bad. So not knowing the full extent of the situation, we made our way to the ER at 5 o'clock in the morning on May 31st. I was initially nervous after hearing the nurses talk to each other and telling Odette that she was in labor and the baby was on the way. I was nervous because she was only 30 weeks, which is two months early. Fortunately for Odette, she practically sneezed him out after being in labor for only 30 minutes. Once he popped out, everything happened so quickly. All the nurses and doctors rushed to their, to do their part in making sure that he would be okay. After the birth, unfortunately, uh, his premature birth caused him to have to spend the remaining time in the hospital until his due date, which was August 4th. This meant that the daily hosp this meant that daily hospital visits were a must. But he progressed, while he was in there, he progressed so quickly that he was able to be released almost a month before his original date. So he ended up coming home July 10th. Now that he's home with us, brightening up every Wednesday, he's hungry every three hours. <laughs> Thankfully, he's a wonderful baby though. He doesn't really cry much. All he does is eat and sleep and look cute. What a life. The event of having our, chi our first child has changed everyone's life in a positive way. Before, during, and after the pregnancy served as an exploratory experience for us, as well as all of our family on both sides involved. Now we know what it's like to have a baby in our own care, living on our own, and having to grow up, as well as familiarizing ourselves with the general measurements of various fruits and vegetables. So this is Zadian. 
he just ate, so he's very tired. Alright, 